Okay, I'm going to run you through how to use MindNode, a mind mapping program to organize your thoughts and put it into podcast, radio, or YouTube script form. It's basically you can present really cool content and stay clear, natural, concise, but also very, very clean. So first, like most Mac programs, press the new document button. There you go. And here's the clever thing. Now, find a name pretty early on in your MyNode process, even if it's a work in progress name. So, for example, let's say this is a a podcast about inspiration. So, then I put in the title. Now here's the nice thing about my note. This is the major, let me put that full screen. Here's the major plus about my note that I find pretty cool is when you press save, the title for the main note appears right there. So you don't need to, you know, change it up here and do stuff like that twice, which is annoying with a lot of other uh, text editing software. So now, like most things, you have to have a beginning. So an intro. An intro is pretty key to getting people right in because that intro needs to grab people immediately. It needs to be able to keep people listening. At the same time, you don't want to make people like jump right in. You still want to be able to calmly and um, introduce them to the value and the content of your podcast or video so let's start with in the intro maybe mentioning your name that's that's usually what i do like i'll say i'm chase carrington now you may want to mention like say i'm from this channel or this podcast or this radio station but since i mean this youtube channel is called chase carrington I'll just stick with that and keep it simple. Now, next up, you have the idea that you want to start introducing your topic and your content. So don't play around with the audience. And that is my number one thing with podcasts and YouTubers. Like, what am I supposed to come here for? Why should I continue listening? Because they may be going around a rabbit trail or something that I just can't understand what on earth is your main point so get right into it so so say i'm gonna do a little bit more of a creative take on this just say inspiration to everywhere just get a statement right out there which is the main point now you back this up later This nice statement will just get people right acquainted with the topic and also it will get people curious like why would you say that what do you have to back that up how can I find inspiration everywhere so another clever way to get people to do this to get them interested ask the question that they're all thinking so say so say i'm chase carrington i'm chase carrington and welcome to my podcast or video inspiration is everywhere why and where do you ask so that'd be next that sounds like the next natural thing say say why why is that Why is that, you ask? <laughs> or maybe... And here's the thing. You really got to play with it. And this is another useful thing. You want to be able to... Just sometimes you should just speak it out loud. Especially if it's something that you're going to be really speaking about. You want to say... Like... 
just go through this and see what sounds natural. I'm Chase Carrington, and welcome to my video. I'm going to do this for a video, or welcome to my podcast. Welcome to my podcast. And you can see how basically it wasn't natural for. I was jumping for my name and into the topic. You want to still grab them early on, but you want to make it sound natural. I'm Chase Carrington, welcome and welcome to my podcast. Inspiration is everywhere. Why do I say that? So, you know, the other thing didn't work. So, why did I say that? And th this script offers a unique opportunity. When I say, why do I say that? I could say something that kind of establishes my authority on the topic. So let's see. Welcome to my podcast. Inspiration is everywhere. Why do I say that? So maybe I could say, for example, because I found it to be true. Or just say because it's true. Or... A good thing, maybe say like my experience or say, why do I say that? Because it's true. Now, of course, there's a lot of things when it comes to getting right into the script. I really want to give you the idea of how to organize it. But when you get into the script, you really got to conform to your personality. That's the most important thing. And I just, in, in this part, I just want to show you how I've organized it. Now this is how I do it. There may be many different ways to actually do this, but in the way I do it, I usually just have the main point, and then I have a script-like list of lines. So basically, I know exactly where I am when I'm talking. So I say, I'm Chase Carrington. Welcome to my podcast. Inspiration is everywhere. Why do I say that? Because it is true. Then I lead right into backing that up. Now, for the Nexus video, I will not go through it line by line like I did this part. I really want to get you the idea of how to order stuff just so you can keep it coherent. So, the intro and in now is your main points. And so, I want to say, so how would I back this up? I, will, I just made a claim. Now, I need to back it up. The inspiration is everywhere. Like, I, I could say... I could say, for example, that inspiration can be found in, I could say, first of all, I'm doing this top to bottom because just the ideas are coming to me. So I could say inspiration, where is inspiration? Or where is inspiration the most? Well, well, I could say that this part is your body and you want to make sure to keep this clean, coherent, but also very valuable, full of information that or content that will really gratify the viewer or listener. So where is inspiration the most? That sounds like a pretty good some point. So I want to so I can kind of back this. If I want to back this up, that is not a good choice. So let's see, how could I back this up? This is a example thing, so I'm kind of thinking on the fly here. But inspiration's everywhere. I could say to back this up, my story. This and this is a one thing to say: captivating people with your story or the story of others is very powerful. So if you can create a script in a way that it has a story of some sort in it or maybe even multiple ones to show clashing ideas or maybe two separate ideas or two separate parts of an idea that really adds to the power and then I could say my story I could talk about how I feel like I'm inspired about by everything around me especially what is good I could say that in the next things in the next thing I could say I began to see inspiration everywhere and, and go so on and so forth now you can keep on going with this but I want to really show you how to do this so 
I'm just gonna have two points here that I can say. I'm just make someone up. I'll just say <laughs> Gene's story. For this type of outline, I'm really it's very story based. And I want to really keep that story form going. So basically I'm just gonna have multiple story stories to to back up my point. Now here's the last thing. This is what brings it all together. The ending, the conclusion, the outro, as I like to call it. This is what you want out of your listener. Now, I know the body is important to the listener, but this is where you get the chance to really get your value out of the listener. This is where you can say, I hope you enjoyed my story. Give it a like or subscribe. Or I hope you enjoy this story. Go find more on my podcast or this is where you get to do the call to action get to wrap things up so you bring closure for the listener but at the same time you get the opportunity to promote what you created this for so it's important for example say i the main purpose of this is i want people to be inspired more so a good thing that also relates with my listener let me first just do I someone just ending is the best way to put it and and I can say to them like say now go find inspiration Inspired by everything. So basically, right now, I'm trying to send the message listener. I'm trying to basically send the listener away changed with a change of mindset and a change of um, view of things. So I want them to say, now go find inspiration and be inspired by everything. And basically that is going to leave the listener, not just am I relating to them by saying, I want, here's an action you can do. Here's something you can do. It's not just, I'm not just telling a story here. I want you to do something. And I think that it will improve you in the end. And maybe just one last thing to, to kind of empower the listener. I want to say, and go change the world. And now, last but not least, the thing you need. And so you can say, for example, subscribe. To my podcast for more inspiration. Now I could mention consistency, but that will have to be another video when it comes to podcasting and marketing. And then, this is something I do. It's just my signature. I like to sign off with my name. Many people do that. Oops. Say I'm Chase Carrington. Boom. There we go. This is a full circle. Now we sign off. You publish your podcast. There you go. You're impacting listeners. So let's just review real quick. Strong title. Strong intro, interesting and valuable content in the middle in the form of stories, at least in this particular outline. And then a good ending, a good ending that brings closure for the listener, empowers the listener, but also brings value for the creator by create by elevating your call to action and also getting your name out there as well. This is the best way. And altogether, my note is a useful process to do this. You get the program, I believe it's 10 bucks on the App Store, 
it's a Mac and iPhone please check it out I found it very useful because you can see everything it's colorful <laughs> and you can move it around I've just began to scratch the surface with what you can do with this powerful program but I really wanted to show you especially how to make such an inspiring podcast script I'm Chase Carrington and you're listening to my YouTube channel